just like the roach after atomic testing. We just like keep surviving. We like the energizer bunny. We keep like going and going, and I'm just so grateful that I mean, I those guys are. Oh, I good. love those guys. So uh, saw the movie last night. It, it like we were talking about. I, I watched one and two like five times to really get my stuff, <laughs> get myself yeah. ready for it. You know what? You as an actor, man, I just got to tell you, this has got to be the role that you were the most fearless in as an actor. You Am I right? It. You're absolutely a thousand percent right. This is, I mean, uh, Hangar 3 is the best thing I've ever done. I can dance around and say like all these other things that, that aren't going to be sincere, but that is it's just the best thing I've ever done, man. It, I, and, and Mr. Chow is my favorite character I've ever played. And, uh, you know, I, it, it, I was just so happy, you know, Every, every bit of success I've owed from the past four years is solely due to The Hangover. Every bit. It just you're, everything you're, I, My you're, life changed from that movie. Right. From black and white to Technicolor. It just, everything just changed. I'm sad to see it. You know, it's like, you know, sinking in. You know, it's mm -hmm. really, we're, this is the last time we're all going to do this all together, you know? So the last day of shooting, you guys were in the basement, right? The whole, uh, I, I had more scenes after that. Oh, I had more did. days after that, but that was the last day, all of us together, yes. Yeah. What, what was that day like? It wasn't that sad in the sense, because none of us are really that outwardly, you know, because I think we had a very long day that day, so we had a lot of work to do. But yeah. I, so it, it, I don't think it really has, is sinking in until probably until like about right now when we're all together months later realizing, okay, this is, this is going to be it. And, yeah. um, but having said that, it, to, to do, these are my favorite people I've ever worked with honestly That's so and cool. then to do it on one movie it's amazing it's a blessing to do it three times yeah you know that's heaven sent did you know when you did the first one there was gonna be two more no i had no no idea i mean when i did the first one i, I told my wife this is the funniest movie i've ever been in i hope people see it that's yeah. all i thought and you know and now for to be a third one to have chow to have an expanded role i mean mr oh. i love mr chow so much i mean i love to do a chow spinoff and just anything Chow related, I would. If just, that would just, be possible, that would work. I, you could carry that. That would I really would work. I'd love to do it. I'd be down with that. I mean, I mean, Chow's a devil. If you think about it, the first movie. Oh, I mean, the Wolfpack doesn't deal with the devil, and these the next two movies are the consequences that are unraveling yeah. from that. So it really, and Alan's got to do one final dance with the devil. Right. And just when you think the devil's like down and out for the count, like think again. You know what I mean? That kind of. Fine. This is one movie where I love you guys as actors, as, as, as giving as you were to each other, and even in the compliments of each other's characters. Um, we were talking to the Wolfpack over there, and we're there talking about how Ellen's character, this was the one where he really became so beloved. We saw why the other guys loved him so much. Exactly. Did, did you Great. feel that? Oh, my goodness. There's so much heart in this, and there's so much love in this movie, and a lot of unexpected heart in unexpected moments in this movie. Mm -hmm. It really kind of choked me up watching it. So, Alan, you really, you, you got to give a shout-out to Zach. He's the funniest man alive, and he really just knocks it out of the park because it's really Alan's story, and, and Zach just knocks it out of the park. He's a great actor, and he never not makes me laugh. He's just always and The last so thing, I just got to yeah. know this. Todd is a director. Um, especially on the last one, did, did he give you a lot more latitude than the first two, or, or it, what, what is he like as far as improv and, and, and work? He's the best director I've ever worked with. I mean, I think he, he blends giving you, la he knows when to give latitude to an actor, and he knows also when to kind of rein him in and just kind of guide him in, yeah. guide him in tone. And we all like trust him so much, and it's like an egoless band of performers, oh. you know, and, and we really, it's like a, it's just like a really good basketball team that's just like unselfish. There's no, no one's competitive with each other, and we're just all working for the greater good. And Todd, Todd it's really Todd that guided me into, I think, the best performance of my career of this last one. I mean, this was all Todd that really guided me. This was the me best down. I've ever seen in anything. Thanks, man. Thanks, I really Ken. appreciate it, Steve. That means a lot. Thank, to me. thank you, bro. Really good. That means everything to me. Thank you.